Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to set up wireless CarPlay in your Chrysler Pacifica. This is a 2018 Touring L Plus and I have here the CarPlay to Air Adapter. This on their website right now is about 120 bucks, and you can scroll through this list here on their website to see if any other particular vehicle models are covered. Obviously the Pacifica is. But let's go ahead and get to work on installing it. So, on the Pacifica, your CarPlay USB slot is going to be right here, right next to this handy phone pocket. All we're going to do is plug in right here, and then I'm going to tuck the uh, wireless adapter right here where I would put my phone. If you wanted this to be more permanent, you could put double-sided tape on here and uh, stick it in there, but I would not recommend that because if you want to uh, get the firmware updates they offer you would probably need this usb port so wouldn't really recommend doing that it honestly stays right there just fine so let's go ahead and plug it in tuck it in and we're going to go up to our screen we're going to wait for phone logo here to turn to carplay there it goes and now it's going to bring up the menu you see it recognizes that this is a chrysler so, let's go ahead and open our phone. We're going to go to Settings, Bluetooth, and we're going to wait for that Chrysler to pop up in our Bluetooth. There it is at the bottom, so let's click on it. We're going to wait for it to ask if we want to use CarPlay, and we're going to say Use CarPlay. And boom, there we go. Now we are wirelessly connected to CarPlay. So, let's test it. We're going to turn the vehicle off and see if this pops back up when we get back in. I'm going to take my phone with me, put it in my pocket. Alright, let's hop back in. Pops right back up. Super easy to use. Now, my wife has told me it works flawlessly about 85% of the time. Sometimes you will need to unplug it and plug it back in, um, but not that often. Works pretty well. Um, as you can see, if I just unplug it, it'll go away here, and then I'm going to plug it back in. And since my phone's already synced, I'm not going to really need to uh, reset up everything. Just wait for it to recognize that CarPlay's in there. And this is my phone, so I'm just going to... Actually, I don't even have to click it. If you had more than one phone paired, you would select uh, whichever one is your device. But here we go. We're already back in it. Now, in the event I want to delete my phone from the CarPlay to wireless adapter, all we have to do is we're going to unplug it. And while it's unplugged, I'm going to go back to settings, Bluetooth, and I'm going to forget CarPlay to air here, or the Chrysler PE3E1 in my case. I'm going to forget this device. Nope, oh, forget. All right, now we're going to plug back in. And we're going to wait for it to recognize the CarPlay device again. All right, and you'll see my phone pop up here. I'm just going to hold this. And you'll see delete or cancel comes up at the bottom. I didn't do it quick enough. Let's do it again. I'm going to delete. And there you go. It's now deleted. Now, like I mentioned, if you have more than one phone where that popped up, it'll have multiple instances. And obviously, you can rename those, so uh, it makes sense, like Kevin's iPhone. But that's all there is to it with the wireless CarPlay um, adapter. Super simple to use. And it's definitely worth 120 bucks for the wireless CarPlay. Um, 
It would be nice if the van also had a wireless charger, but it does not. But, you know, that's not the end of the world. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave a comment on the video. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.